All right, good morning. I'm on a family vacay. I'm currently in Sarasota, Florida. It's on along the west coast of Florida. <laughs> the not fun side. The side without Orlando and Miami. But still good. Now I'm doing a little walk on the river walk. Yeah. Get my grandpa on. That's why I always say when I go for walks. I used to go for walks a lot during the summer. But then school started again, so <laughs> I had much less chances to go for a walk. Hmm. The bad thing about time off and vacations is that it gives you a lot of time to think. And all your personal problems, personal problems and introversion that you have suppressed over the semester of the school year, it just comes back. Because you got all this downtime to think about it. Yeah. Dad's like swimming in the hotel pool. Mom's still sleeping. My brother woke up. He's probably on his phone as usual. No surprise there. I mean, I do my share of being on the phone. But life's too short to be on the phone all the time. Life's too short to always check in Snapchat and Instagram and Facebook. That's why I delete all of those from my phone. Hold on a second. Yeah, I just some guy with a leaf blower. He's blowing all over this skate park right here nearby. Yesterday I saw a lot of kids hanging out here. Of course, I tried. I had my share of skateboarding. I tried to. But then I discovered longboarding, which is all I really need. I just need transportation. I don't need tricks and whatnot. But yeah, like I said, it's interesting. During the break, there's all these things you want to do. I mean, it's, oh, I'll read all these books, or I'll make all these mixes, or there are notes I took over the summer. I'll transcribe them and dictate and record them all. I'll go here or there, I'll meet up with this or that people. But by the end of this vacation, like, half the break is over before you know it. That's the interesting thing about life sometimes. You just do stuff, and then, uh, oh, that's the time off, I can do this, that, and that, and before you know it, all that time is, like, gone. And it's back to routine. And it's interesting, it's like I told my brother yesterday, Part of me enjoyed being in school as compared to break. Because in school, I had better habits. I ate more healthy, I worked out, I meditated, I studied, I learned, I liked what I learned. The only difference is that I mixed less and I read less. That's it. What is more to? But here at home, it's, you realize you can't stay home at a time. It's like a stagnant trap that you would never want to fall into. I mean, I understand for those who are living at home or work and live at home with their parents. But when you're in school and you're in a different, faraway place, you're on your own schedule, your own agenda, your own discipline. And I lost that discipline briefly. Well, I'm just glad I got it back. It's interesting. Bodies of water always make you feel better. Well, the downside is this morning there was no free continental breakfast, so I'm pretty hungry right now. And kind of thirsty too, well, physically thirsty, because I knew if I drink coffee, it would dehydrate me even more. But I'm going for a walk. That which is physical activity. So it's like go away this and that. So the family's pretty scattered right now. But the good thing about this place is that it's well lit at night. They keep it lit. <laughs> yeah, we were out here around like 10 o'clock last night too. Well, it's interesting. When you get out, there's two directions to go. And I picked the direction that apparently takes me some, to some sort of plaza, but the other direction takes me to a pier, 
and a railroad crossing. So perhaps we'll check that out a bit later.